Hello, David Snowpack here from Snowpack Games, and this is my fourth progress report about adding WebXR support to the Godot game engine. The main new thing this week is support for VR controllers. Uh, and it works exactly as you would expect in Godot uh, using the AR VR controller node and the uh, button pressed and button released signals. I spent a little time trying to add support for the WebXR select and squeeze events, which is a kind of alternate way of getting input from the controllers with a sort of lowest common denominator, a thing that would work even if you don't have actual controllers, if you're you know tapping on a touch phone or using voice control or the pressing the one button you have on a Google Cardboard. Uh, but I got kind of stuck on some tricky API things there, um, basically with how I would make the API work in Godot for that, um, that I didn't manage to resolve. I've still got those changes in a branch. I plan to come back to them later. But the other thing I've been working on this past week is a new demo. So you come to the page here in the Oculus browser, and as usual, we hit our Enter VR button. And now I am standing above this racetrack. I still have cube hands. I haven't uh, gotten around to making uh, better models for the hands, uh, but you can see this little race car down here. And if I press the trigger on either of the controllers, it goes forward. Releasing it, he stops. It goes all the way around the track. Let's see if I can get him to stop on the bridge there. And he comes all the way around over here. So still a pretty simple demo. Uh, however, I've got an idea for a much bigger uh, VR experience using this sort of toy racetrack idea, which I'm going to continue adding to over the next week. And actually, uh, I'm going to share the uh, URL for this demo, as simple as it is, uh, in the description below this video. Uh, so you can try it if you would like. I'm actually really interested to see how it works on other devices, as I've only really tested it on the Oculus Quest 1. Over this next week, I'm going to change gears a little bit, and I'm going to work on some documentation, maybe a tutorial about how to uh, use WebXR in Godot, and I'm going to post some public builds uh, so that other people can try it and uh, get some more testing and some more feedback. Of course, there are still tons of features to add and bugs to fix, uh, but I think I'm kind of at a point where I'd really like to see how this works for other people and other devices to get some more in-depth feedback on the APIs and, and other things. So look out for that next week. Uh, I'm also going to continue working on my demo and making it a little better to have a kind of better showcase of uh, WebXR in Godot. One of the things you will notice if you try the demo is that it loads very slowly. Um, and I think that's actually just due to the size of the build. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to optimize the build, uh, maybe leave out some uh, of Godot's modules, some of the features of Godot in my build to try and see if I can get that loading a little bit faster. And we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.